The Abrams has four guns. The main one is the M256 120 millimeter cannon. It's made by Rhine Metal in Germany. It's got a smooth bore barrel and is designed to engage targets all the way out to two miles, and that's pretty impressive. And with its advanced optical systems, it can operate just as effectively day or night. The other three guns on the Abrams are machine guns. A Maw the Browning M2 HB 50 cal, is mounted outside the commander's hatch. Then there are two M240 Bravo 7.62 millimeter machine guns. One is mounted in line with the main gun. The other is operated by the loader in close quarter combat situations. The Abrams armor is designed for maximum deflection, including sloped armor providing maximum protection to a frontal attack. Its secret weapon is a composite material called Chobham armor, formed from layers of steel, ceramics, plastics, and Kevlar. When an incoming round hits, the ceramic deforms the round, preventing any further penetration. Air pockets prevent the shock of impact from entering the cabin. To get the inside scoop on the Abrams, I'm meeting one of Fort Irwin's most seasoned tankers, Master Gunner Sergeant First Class Christopher Fowler. I've been on tank for 16 years now. 16 years, since the day you joined service? Since way back then until now. That must mean that you really love this weapon system. I, I do. I mean, very few people in the world could say they've been on a tank. It's a unique combination of speed, power. It'll go 40 mile an hour. It could take out choppers, light armor. It could defeat just about anything on the battlefield, primarily used to destroy enemy tanks. It's just so powerful. It's, it's very impressive. And how many personnel does it take to operate this specific weapon system? Every tank has a four-man crew. I'm the tank commander. I pretty much oversee everything that goes on the tank. You have a driver who drives the tank, the loader, he loads the rounds, and the gunner, his purpose is to acquire and destroy the target. 